The Tigers are home and away this week. The Tiger Basketball Report brought to you by the Green Turtles starts now. Welcome to another edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. I'm your host, Spiro Marikas, along with the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary. And coach, the Tigers this week will play a game on Wednesday that was originally not on the schedule, uh, Regent University from Virginia Beach. And tell us why Towson's playing this game and how it came about. Yeah, we're, we're playing the game because of, um, obviously we want to play the maximum amount of games. But as you know, you, uh, you were on the trip with us. We went up to Cornell and... We're getting ready for the game and had the plug pulled on us after going up there the day before and uh, whatever, three, four hours Thanksgiving the traffic yeah. and everything. Uh, so uh, we had offered to play the game again, couldn't get a date that was going to work from them and our administration and, and Tim Lennon especially agreed like you know, our guys are entitled to play the right amount of games so we were able to find a game. These guys had played um, Hampton and Morgan so we contacted them and they're an NAI school so we're going to play the game. and. Uh, yeah, hope to hope to get hope to win and get and get better um, during this week. And I, I do kind of like the idea. I think I think our guys would rather play than practice this time of year. So that we're going to get a home game in on Wednesday before we go down to JMU. All right. Now, no offense to Regent, but they're going to come in here and they're going to be overmatched. Uh, most let's likely. hope so. Yeah, <laughs> they they I think they've won five games this year. Um, if the game goes the way you think it will go. What do you do as far as playing your regulars? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll try to look at some, hopefully get some other guys in um, that, you know, we, we've got some good walk-ons if they can get in. But, you know, we we, we got to get we got to get better. Like, what we've limited contact this time of year, and that, that's going to be a contact day. Um, but can we also, you know, um, get better at some different combinations out there like uh, Gibson and Doughton playing a little bit more together you know th those those type are, are Thompson and, and Sanders you know if we can do that we, we need that you know, as you know right now we have an injury to Juwan Gray right and we didn't have him for Drexel um, we don't anticipate having him this week uh, certainly not for Regent and not not for James Madison so we got to look at playing some different guys together and, and that's going to give us an opportunity to do that. All right, so then Saturday, uh, matchup with James Madison. You are in a tie right now with William & Mary for fourth place in the conference, but only, uh, you know, not much separating sixth place and first place in the wow. CAA. Everybody's still got a chance to win this thing. Yeah. And you've got a huge one down at Madison, a team that's kind of reeling, but a team that you beat 69-61 here. Darius Banks had 27 points, but besides that, you really shut them down. I mean, they only shot 32% for the game, and... I know you you want another defensive effort like that. Well, we're going to need it. I mean, Banks, Matt Lewis is an all-conference kid. Dwight Wilson. I think those they've got three all-conference guys. They play at a fast tempo. Um, we haven't played great down there. We're going to need to play well down there. It's a Saturday night, eight o'clock game. There'll be a good buzz in the building. Um, yeah, we are in the race. It's a, it's a huge game, and and they're good. Uh, you know, they're talented. So, we, we you know we have to take care of the ball. We're going to have to be able to guard them, and then manufacture enough offense ourselves, but like you said there's big games in our conference this week um and you know it, it's it's a, it's a chance if we can have a great week to find ourselves right in the mix yeah there's no question and and and, and you look at the games that you've played down in harrisonburg there have been several occasions where you guys have jumped out to a lead Couldn't only to see it off. fall apart in yeah. the second half uh, I'm let's sure hope you're... that doesn't happen again and, and, uh, and there are a lot of guys on this team that have experienced that and i'm sure they don't have to be reminded of it 
they better not have to be reminded of it. You know, we have, like I said, tremendous respect for Lou, Lou Rowe and James Madison. They're also a team that knocked us out at the buzzer last year in the conference tournament. So we, we shouldn't have to remind our guys of that. And like I said, he, he's, they're talented. Uh, they're playing at home. They are a fast-paced team. And in my mind, they've got three all-conference level players. And plus a kid, Deshaun Parker, who was on the all-rookie team last year. So they've lost some close games. Uh, and there are no nights in this league where, you know, I think you've seen, like, Charleston's a really good team. They've lost at home to, not, they lost at home North Carolina Wilmington, where everyone thought was, had lost 11 straight games. Got so, beat handily by Elon at home this past Elon's Saturday. Elon's good. So, like, if you don't play in this league, you're going to get beat. That's the reality. Yeah, you look at Northeastern, they've lost how many games by, by a total of, like, 10 points? I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it beat us, you know. So I mean, it's, it's it's this thing is wide open. Our guys are keenly aware of it. We want them to be excited about playing the way we're supposed to play, so that we can have success. Correct. So the Tigers will travel to James Madison on Saturday night. I'll have the call on Wednesday against Regents, starting at 6:45, and then 7:45 on Saturday night down in Harrisonburg, Virginia. And uh, last time you played Madison, I gave you a James Madison quote. I got nothing. I don't know what to tell you then. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You came empty-handed too, huh? I am empty-handed. Empty-handed. I'm just not. I don't have it. I don't have any pop for you right now. No, I don't have it. We'll come, we'll come loaded for bear next week. <laughs> That'll do it for this edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. For the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary. I'm Spiro Marikas. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, go Tigers.